Hello, welcome to Vital Truth. I'm going to be reading scripture right now in uh, Jeremiah chapter uh, 6, uh, starting at verse 16, Jeremiah 6 and 16. Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein. And ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. Verse 17, And I set watchmen over you, saying, Hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, We will not hearken. You know, you get to searching these scriptures and reading the history on this. God did everything He could to get people to uh, believe Him, turn from their sin, repent of their sin, and follow follow God. In uh, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, God said, If my people, which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I'll hear from heaven, I will forgive their sin, and I will heal their land. And so God is continually reaching out to people, uh, drawing them in, trying to get them to do what's right. And you know, there's a way that seemeth right unto man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Now, if you notice in the times we're living in now, there's a lot of different churches, a lot of different beliefs, a lot of different religions. But now the Bible only talks of one pure religion, and that's the one that God brought into existence. And God is not into religion. He never has been into religion, and he never will be into religion because he rebuked the Pharisees. They were a religious sect. They uh, had an outward appearance of being religious. They dressed the part. They looked the part. And they acted the part mostly, but Jesus called them whited sepulchers. He said, you look good on the outside, but inside you're full of dead men's bones. So God is reaching out today, uh, trying to draw people into Him. But now, people don't want to hear it because it don't uh, appease the flesh. You know, the three categories of all sin comes under the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. And people today are proud, they're heady, high-minded, Lovers are themselves more than God. Uh, they uh, only concerned about what can you do for them. Not what they can do for God, but what can God do for them. They really want God, but they don't want to pay the price. They don't want to surrender their self to God. They want to do their own thing, and yet they want God to bless them. Well, I mean, it don't work like that, folks, because God is a heart God. You got to have a pure heart in order to see God. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. That's in the Beatitudes, Matthew chapter 5. So, people today is wanting God, but they don't want to serve Him. And in 2 Timothy, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4, uh, Paul told Timothy, said, Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering, for the time will come when men will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lust, they'll heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. They'll believe a lie, but they don't want to believe God. They'll turn from the truth. They want to hear lies. And you know, you get to thinking today, people lust to hear lies. You take politics. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, these candidates will promise you the moon. They'll promise you everything under the sun, and they know they can't do it. They can't do what they say they can. But people love to hear that. And now, the big thing now I'm hearing on the radio is this candidate, that candidate. Who's fit for this? Who's this? Who's that? Well, let me tell you something, folks. How many years have you been alive and you've seen how things work? Everything man tries to do to fix things, it just gets worse. 
It won't get better unless they turn to God. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then God said, I'll hear from heaven. I'll forgive their sin and I'll heal their land. But man has pushed God aside and they think we've got all the answers and the only time they want God is when they get in trouble and it's like a genie. <laughs> uh, you rub the bottle and here comes the genie. What can I do for you today? Well, let me tell you something. Man can't do nothing for you. Only God can. And look at all the programs that they come up with to try to fix it. And they just keep getting deeper and deeper and deeper in debt. That's the way sin is, folks. It's like a spider web. It's like a web. You just get so entangled in it you can't get free. And that's what is happening to the world today. Instead of turning to God, the only source of hope the only way of escape, instead of turning to God, they lean to their own understanding. They, are, they think they've got all the answers. They become fools. They think they're so smart. They become fools. I mean, you can listen to the news and the things that they're doing. Anybody with common horse sense would scratch their head and want to say, where are they coming from? What are they thinking? Let me tell you something, folks. It's all a bunch of ignorance. Without God, there's always needs. Where God is, there is no need. So you got people today heaping to themselves teachers and they think they're doing God a big service by going to church. They'll go to church and pay their religious homage. They thank to God. It's an organization. They're going in there to be seen or for different reasons, but not the right reason. They may be some with the right motive, but if God, if they're full of the Holy Ghost, God will lead them out of that junk. The Holy Ghost will not sit under that junk because if you got God in you, He'll lead you out to what is right. He'll tell you what's right and what's wrong. So you see, you got people today, I mean, even in the ruling the governments and stuff, folks, them people that's so crooked, they'll have to be screwed in the ground when they die. You can't trust man. You, if you think you say, well, I'm voting for this or voting for that, you might as well just uh, uh, go out there and just... Uh, uh, Speak to the wind. Let me tell you something. It, nobody's going to fix nothing unless God's in it. It can't be done. Unless God builds a house, it can't be built. Simple as that. You check, check back through history any time that God was took out of anything, it deteriorates. The fiber, the moral substance that holds everything together, when you let it go, then everything collapses. Well, that's what's wrong today, folks. Everything's coming. It's like a boil coming to head. It's fixing to erupt. Yeah, and it won't get better unless God gets in it. Well, is God going to get in it? Well, according to the Scriptures and according to what the Spirit sp speaketh expressly in the latter times, some would depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Well, look, that's what's happening today. Oh, I've never seen so much evil and wickedness out of so-called so religious people. And everybody wants to think in their own eyes they're right. Well, folks, there's only one truth, and that's Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but through me, he said. If you, you think you're going to get to God any other way, you'll get to God through Jesus Christ. I don't care what anybody tells you. It don't matter what man. Let every man be a lawyer, but let God be the truth. Then if you accept that, and you accept Christ into your heart, you're a winner. If you don't accept Christ into your heart, and people's telling you there's another way you're going to get this thing fixed, then you're heading for a swift destruction. You'll be cut off without remedy. You'll be weighed in a bounces and found wanting. Oh, but listen, if you get into Christ and follow Him, listen to His voice, and if you will read the Scriptures, they testify of Christ. And if you pray and you seek His face, turn from your evil ways, the first thing you got to do is humble yourself. Then you got to pray and seek his face and turn from your wicked ways. Then he said, I will hear from heaven. I'll forgive your sin and I'll heal your land. What a promise, folks. But people don't want to do that. They said, we will not hearken. He said, I, get, I sounded a trumpet. You wouldn't hearken. I called you. You wouldn't hearken. They said, we will not hearken. Well, if you don't hearken, then you're going to come up short. You're going to miss the mark. You're going to wind up in, 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 in a devil's hell. Hell that was created for the devil and, and his angels. Well, may Jesus bless you. You have a good day.